We're going to be solving exponential and logarithmic functions in this video lesson. So if we need to solve uh, 3 to the x power is equal to 10, how would we do that? Well, um, if we look, the log base 3 raised to the third power is going to be equal to 1. So that's why I'm looking at log base 3 for this. So if I have 3 to the x power, I just want to take log base 3 of the left side, log base 3 of 10 on the right side. And so I took log base 3 of both sides. And so the, uh, the power rule for logarithms is I can take the x and put it out front. Log base 3 of 3 with x uh, multiplied by it. Log base 3 of 10. And then cancel those out to become 1. So then x is equal to log base 3 of 10. If you need to simplify that, you know, into a decimal, you will want to use your change of base formula. Your change of base formula says that if you have log base 3 of 10, you're going to turn it into a fraction. And when you turn it into a fraction, you're going to get the log base 10 of 10 over top of log base 10 of 3. And you should know that then that this cancels out to become 1. So you have 1 over log of 3. So that's if you need to change it to a decimal. Okay. If not, log base 3 of 10 is sufficient. Moving right along, I'd like you to try this next one on your own. See what you come up with. You hit pause and then um, play the video and then you can check your solution. We want to add 3 to both sides, so that means we get 4x is equal to 14. In order to get rid of the 4, we're going to take log base 4. Log base 4 to both sides. Um, we know we pulled the x out front, and then log base 4, 4 becomes 1, so that means x is equal to log base 4, 14. If you wanted to change it using the change of base formula, and then you could type this into the calculator. Looking at the next one. Um, well, looking here, if we have 3 to the x plus 2 and 9 to the x plus 1, we're trying to solve for x. But you should recognize something about 3 and something about 9, right? Well, isn't 9 going to be 3 squared? And then we have x plus 1 outside of that 9 or outside of 3 squared. So what do we do when we have a power raised to a power right here? We multiply those. So if we have 2 times x plus 1, that will give us 3 to the 2x plus 2 power. So this is where we're at. And since they have the same bases, since they have the same bases, we can kind of just set the exponents equal to each other. Um, that's going to work because we are going to uh, say log base 3 of 3 on both sides. And then remember the exponents come out front. And so that sets them equal to each other. We're going to subtract 2 from both sides and get 
1x is equal to 2x. Subtract x from both sides, and we're going to get x equals 0. And so that makes sense, right? Plug 0 in there. 3 to the 0 plus 2 is 3 squared. Plug 0 in there. 9 to the first power is also 3 squared. So we're squared away there. Good to go. This one right here, let's see if you can do this one on your own. Hit pause and then play the video when you're finished. Um, I know I'm going to have 6 uh, to the x plus 4. And then on the right side, I'm going to have 6 squared because 36 is 6 squared and then x minus 1. So then I'm really going to have 6 to the 2x minus 2 and then 6 to the x plus 4. I want to take the log base 6 of each side to cancel out and just get the exponents to be equal. And so from here, add 2 to both sides to give me 6. Subtract x from both sides to give me x. And you can plug it in for x and verify that it does make both sides equal. Okay, if we're looking here, um, where do we go? Well, what we could do is we could exponentiate each side. And what I mean by exponentiate, so I'm going to have a 2 raised to the, and I'm going, I'm going to take 2 and I'm going to raise the left side to a power. That's called exponentiate. And then so if I do that to the left side, I also have to do that to the right side. See how the right side is now a power? And the reason for doing this is because 2 raised to the log base of 2 gives us 1. So that means we have x plus 2 is equal to x squared. Now that we have a um, quadratic here, we'll subtract x and we'll subtract 2 from both sides leaving us with 0 is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. And let's factor. Can you give me two numbers that multiply to give you negative 2 that add up to give you negative 1? Negative 2 and positive 1 multiplies to give you negative 2, and it adds up to give you negative 1. And so when we set each one of these equal to 0, we're going to get x is equal to positive 2, x is equal to negative 1. And there we go. Here, um, let's see if you can solve this one out on your own. Very similar to the last problem. Hit pause, then play when you're finished. I'm going to um, exponentiate so that those cancel, leaving me with 2x plus 10. Exponentiate so that those cancel, leaving me with 4x on the right side. Subtract 2x from both sides, and that should give us 10 is equal to 2x. Divide by 2. 5 is equal to x. All right. Um, if we're looking at a problem like this, this one is just a little bit different. But it's still, there's two ways to solve this. And after seeing these last two examples, on exponentiate uh, both sides, then you should be able to realize that, hey, couldn't I just exponentiate the left side and then exponentiate the right side? So those cancel, leaving me a 3x plus 4 is equal to 5 squared is 25. But now go back to what you basically learned. The very first things that you learned about um, logarithms, 
you know that if you take 5 and you raise it to the second power, that should be equal to the 3x plus 4. And look at both sides now. Don't we have the same solution here? The same setup? And we can go ahead and solve this. Subtract 4 from both sides, we get 3x is equal to 21, and then x will be equal to 7. So you can solve this type of problem two different ways, however you want to think about it. Whichever is uh, best for you. From here, we're throwing in um, E into this equation. We're going to be solving for that one. So it's an equation. Let's start working. Let's uh, start getting X by itself. So we'll want to add 4 to both sides, which gives us um, 3 times E to the negative X power. And that's equal to 13. We want to divide both sides by 3. E to the negative X power is equal to 13 over 3. Um, we know negative exponents means you're supposed to take the number to the other side of the fraction bar, but I think in this case we can leave it like this. And at this point we will want to take the natural log of the left side and also take the natural log of the right side. Remember if we have an exponent it pulls out front, so that leaves us with negative x, natural log of e cancels to become 1, is equal to the natural log of 13 thirds. And then so from here you are going to multiply or divide both sides by negative 1 giving you x is equal to negative negative natural log 13 thirds. Let me get that negative sign up a little higher. And so remember when you go to do this you want to natural log of 13 thirds and then the answer will be negative. And one last type of problem I'm trying to solve here. Where do we go? Well, we know that since both of these are um, log-based log base tens, and we are adding those two together, we can use our product properties to say that this is going to be log. Um, let's go... 5x times x minus 1, and I will put all of that in a grouping symbol. So if we have log 5x times x minus 1, and then on the right side we'll have equals to 2, and then so let's, um, let's do what? Uh, we can multiply, giving us 5x squared minus 5x, and that'll be log, log of that, and that's equal to 2. How do we uh, go from here? Well, let's exponentiate, right? So we know that those are going to cancel, leaving us with 5x squared minus 5x is equal to 100. 100. Uh, we can go ahead and divide everything by 5, leaving us with x squared minus x equals 20. Uh, subtract 20 from both sides. Now this is a quadratic. Give me two numbers to multiply to give you negative 20 to add up to give you negative 1. And I believe it's those two numbers, negative 5, positive 4. So then we can factor. And where do you go from there? You set each one equal to 0. 
x is equal to 5, x is equal to negative 4. Um, don't forget, you'll want to uh, plug some of these values in to make sure that you uh, do not get extraneous solutions. You always want to check for extraneous solutions. And, um, and then after that, you should be good to go. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you on the next one.